everyone welcome Aries Rose Burnett here mind body soul balance this is your uh, new couples love reading and uh, it's what your person is thinking and feeling and we're going to dive right into it and before we get started just a very quick welcome to those of you that are brand new to my channel awesome to have you here and those that regularly follow me you're rocking awesome love your support uh, you do have a couple of days still yet to jump into the competition for this month so if you want to win the oracle decks that are up for grabs if you're brand new to my channel hit that subscribe button this month or opt into my extended readings uh you'll go into the draw to win the sacred power oracle by anna stark beautiful deck I'll be drawing someone randomly. And those that follow me regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle. Got to say, that one is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll announce the winners at the end of the month on my YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for that announcement. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you feel like you need extra guidance and support, reach out for personal reading. They are open. I'll put a link on here, info down below on how to get in touch. And follow me on Instagram. Do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there that you will not see on YouTube. So um, come and say hi if you're on Instagram. All right, Aries, let's get started with your reading. So this is absolutely for those of you that are um, been in a committed partnership for quite some time. If that's not you, you can also go and check out the other readings on my channel for Singles New Love. And there will be another one coming out after these ones get released for those of you thinking about your ex. Mm -hmm. So... How this is going to work is uh, we're going to put your energy over here and that your partner over here and let's dive into it. Mm -hmm. So first up, let's have a look at your energy, what's going on in terms of this connection, Aries. And I'm using, um, if you're wondering what Oracle decks I'm using, I'm using a uh, Romance Oracle kit I have created myself and we'll be using lots of other decks as well today. So I hope you enjoy the messages. <laughs> All right, each day I love you more and more. Oh, that's beautiful. That's your, That's what you're thinking and feeling for your partner. And I need some space, let me breathe. So some of you <laughs> need a little time on your own, do your interests with your friends, nothing wrong with that. All right, let's have a look at uh, your person. Oh, we're fine. I just need some time for my own friends and interests. You're mirroring each other. So whilst you might think that you need some space, the two of you need to just have a little chat. <laughs> kind of funny, darlings. And you complete me. I'd be lost without you. Oh, what a beautiful connection going on here. All right, let's get to the heart of the matter. See if there's anything uh, you need to be aware of. First up, your energy, Aries. Uh, there's too much focus on the children. What about me? So um, for those of you that have children, you want a bit more of your partner's attention. And be really honest with each other. This is directly related to I need some space, let me breathe. So you need to have that chat. All right, let's have a look at your person. Okay, there's a little bit of conflict going on because it's directly related to them wanting to spend time with their friends and their interests. So um, I'm not sure if one of you is feeling a little insecure in that place to allow the other one to do that. Oh, and one is feeling unsupported. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, what that tells me is, firstly, as we've just mentioned, both of you want the same thing, right? There may be, um, one of you might be going, oh, it's okay for me to have my interests, but it's not okay for you to have yours, right? So watch that energy. So it's channeling through. All right, let's have a look at relationship influences. First on your side, Aries. Oh, you need to heal the masculine. So what does that mean? You need to step more into your empowerment, your personal power. The flip side of that is there's a couple of messages to healing the masculine. If you're applying too much control to situations, particularly love relationships, there's a sense of insecurity beneath that. You need to let that go. Um, it can also mean that if I'm going to talk to the girls here is that if you've had love relationships in the past where there's been some conflict or difficulties, um, I would suggest possibly around you wanting to do your own thing, um, is that you may emasculate the masculine energy, not take their opinions into account. You may think of the masculine energy in a certain way and it needs a little bit of healing, yeah, because not everybody's like that. It can also be karmic, yeah, in terms of the masculine energy she grew up with. Um, guys, it can certainly mean just stepping more into your masculine energy. All right, let's see what else you need to know. Aries, in terms of relationship influences. 
Oh, here we go. It's on your side. You're feeling a bit insecure. So you need to step up and ask for your space that you need. <laughs> They're going to just say, hello, yes, I want the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at your person. Oh, they're worried about rejection. So they want some time with their friends, but they're unafraid. They're, they're afraid to bring it up because they think you're going to reject them. Mm -hmm. They've got some inner conflicts going on. Oh, super interesting. They have to heal the, the feminine. Oh, my goodness. You're so mirroring each other. Um, so both of you are relating to each other in a way that's probably got imprints from negative love experiences previously. They need to heal the feminine. You need to heal the masculine. Um, boom, boom, darlings, do that work because <laughs> you'll have just the most amazing connection. Relationship, there's very little wrong with this connection, got to say. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the uh, Romance Angel Oracle, first on your side, Aries. And if you're wondering how do they heal the feminine energy, um, it, pretty much exactly what I said, reverse it in terms of masculine energy, the way in which they look at feminine energy. Um if we're talking about, if over here is the feminine energy versus the masculine energy, I'm talking in a relationship. So if you're a male and this is your female partner, or if you're in a same-sex relationship, dare I say, read the energies as you will. Um, it means that they might need to let go of control, trying to push force things, step back into their feminine energy and just allow things to be. Step more into your emotions, emotional side, not being quite so practical, being a little vulnerable. It can also be a sense of fun adventure. All right, Aries, let's have a look on your side in terms of guidance. Oh, you got the honeymoon card. So it's pretty saying take some holiday time together. Probably something you're thinking of, planning. Oh, okay. There's some codependency issues going on. I'm going to suggest to you it's just karmic imprints um, and it's not a lot. So I would suggest you do the work to try and figure out where that's stemming from. Mm -hmm. in terms of healing the masculine energy over on this side. All right, let's have a look at your person. Uh, so they're feeling very romantic towards you. Their feelings are real and worth exploring. I've got to say that um, you need to allow them to have their feelings, their opinions, particularly on the morning, a bit of um, time with their friends. And they've got a message to clearly decide what you want so it comes to you soon. So... They're feeling a little bit unsupported, and yet there's a beautiful love connection here. So um, I think they just need to speak up, to be honest. All right, let's please some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle. First on your side, Aries. Oh, Spirit's saying you're ready. Dare I say for a holiday, it's directly related to that, my loves. Oh, hello. <laughs> I know we got COVID. Can make it a little tricky. And you've got choose a new direction. So there is a patterning playing out. It's directly related to codependency. So you, if you can release the patterning, the way in which you're relating to each other, um, it's going to change quite a lot in terms of the dynamics in your connection. Let's have a look at your person. Mm, they've got the message don't stop related to their feelings. Their feelings are real, worth exploring. Um, don't stop in this connection. Um, I just can't see that happening anyway, darlings. It's a beautiful love connection. Mm. I've got romance on their mind, darlings. They're, um, <laughs> they're so into you. They are. All right, let's pull you some guidance with the Lover's Oracle. First on your side, Aries. Mm, this wants to come out. Oh, it's beautifully reflective. Uh, it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So let go of the stress, the worry, the anxiety. Um, go more with the flow. Don't focus on the negatives between the two of you. Focus on the love. All right, let's have a look at your person. Mm. Um, how beautiful is this? Um, this is super interesting, and I think you need to really listen to this. It says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. All over your reading, my loves. Focus on the things that you love about each other. Give each other your independence, your space, your friendship, your interests. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you a message for, between the two of you from the Whispers of Love Oracle. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh, yes. You bring it close. There's a beautiful home in the background, everything you've built together. There's a gorgeous couple in an embrace. I don't know if you can see it right at the front, yeah? It says, consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Are you willing to work through any little challenges? Are you willing to get on the same page with each other? Are you willing to allow your partner to have their interests, their friendships, their opinions? Um, we're all on a different path. We look at things in a different way. How much effort do you want to put in, my loves? Mm -hmm. Beautiful connection going on. There is. All right, my darlings, those are your messages. Love to hear feedback, your comments. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Reach out if you need extra guidance for a personal reading. And for now, take it easy. Much love, much light. Namaste.